The other thing that influences the quality is obviously optimization. In cockpit3d.com, you have the opportunity to have our team do the optimization. You can realize over 200 artists, everybody's optimization is going to be different. So they all have very, very good training on how to go grayscale, how to airbrush and how to opt. But that's not necessarily what you're paying them for. Cockpit3d.com is an initiative to help grow the subsurface laser engraving industries to make it easy for laser operators to get their 3D files at a very, very low cost. With the kind of margin that comes from that and the kind of reinvestment that needs to go into software, it really isn't the profit side of our business. If you really want to do optimization yourself, that's totally cool and I'll show you how to do it. If you are happy with the optimization you're getting back from our artists for, I guess, it's under a dollar or whatever, it speeds the process up by all means, get them to do it. So let's do an example here of how I train artists to optimize. Click on the layer. We're gonna click here and this here is integrated. As long as you have Photoshop installed, and I believe you might have to make Photoshop default launcher for texture file. Then when you click on that brush, it will launch uh, Photoshop. You might be using Corel or other versions. This here is a very, very old version of Photoshop PS2. And it just goes to show that you don't need the latest softwares to get good quality. The first thing I'm going to do, and you'll see this in many of the uh, trainings as well on YouTube, image mode grayscale. We're looking at it the way that the laser is going to see it in grayscale. And what a lot of new laser operators get confused with is they say, well, it looks kind of bright already, but that's because they're looking at the white sky. And you got to remember that the 3D model doesn't have that white background. So it could be a completely white wall. Yet really what matters is what he's wearing, and what their facial tones are. So I like to quickly go here and click on curves and just drag my curve down a bit. I'm not looking at the background. That's going to look over bright, but don't worry about that. Just look at the faces. Now I've been able to brighten the faces up. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten the suit up a little bit. So if I go here, my color dodge is the power of which I'm going to release. I like to do it at 15. So make sure you're on the correct layer here on the right. So right now I'm on my curve. We'll click on the background and now you can see that it is actually getting a bit brighter. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to merge. So you have two layers here. So before you reload this or refresh this in cockpit, just merge the two layers together. Make them one layer and then just click on save. This is a temporary file. So click on save. You can see it's a temp file with some random text up there for the file name. And then I'm gonna go back to cockpit and I'm gonna click on refresh. Over here, you can see different views. So you've got your scene view, you've got your point cloud view, and you might even have social broadcast, which is going to be something this is i'm really excited about social broadcast by the way what it's going to enable you to do with your online business is insane we had a version one the popularity of it ended up causing server issues so we have to remove it because again we're not necessarily charging an arm and a leg for broadcasting so we removed it we're reworking it retweaking it so that it compresses the images and it doesn't give us server issues so you're going to be able to do some insane stuff with your customers marketing their 3d crystals that they bought from you for you. This was the original point cloud. I'm going to click on go so that we can now recalculate the one that I refreshed. So this here is the one that I've refreshed now. This here is remembering what it was before. So let's click on go and let's see the difference. And there you go. So hopefully you can see the difference now. This year would obviously turn out a lot better than the first one.